Gentlemen, this just about concludes the assignment of this committee, with the exception of some future work that the uh, council would like for us to do. Before we adjourn, I'd like very much for Mr. Owens to state just what he thinks about the plan and what benefits it might uh, bring to the employees of the city. Mr. Owens. Well, Mr. Weber, I think that the city council is to be commended for an action that will uh, give us a reasonable amount of security in holding our employees. At the same time, we'll permit an orderly increase of salaries and wages to those people who stay with us. And uh, I think it's an excellent idea. It's something I've wanted to do for years. And our council action is certainly concurred in whole about me, and I'm sure it's a fine administrative action that we can carry on with. Thank you very much. Now, Dr. Rustin, uh, you have been at all these meetings. You have studied this situation diligently along with many others. Uh, just what do you think about the uh, plan? Well, Mr. Weber, I would like to just uh, carry on from what uh, uh, Mr. Owen has said because, uh, in my opinion, this gives us an opportunity to do what we have been doing for the instructional personnel in the school system. That is having a schedule in which we can look toward uh, uh, greater performance and by merit of performance we can get uh, higher salaries for our people and they themselves will uh, be encouraged to do a better greater work. I think that this is uh, an opportunity that we have now to improve the services of the city schools through this plan. Uh, Mr. Davies, will you give us the general operation of this plan as proposed uh, to city council? The plan in general is uh, uh, twofold. It provides for hourly paid people and solid people. And in each case, every job is allocated to a pay group. Generally, those pay groups have a minimum and a maximum. Now, when the plan goes into effect, those who are below the minimum of that pay group will be brought to their minimum. Those who are over the maximum will remain at that rate and not be reduced. In between those grades, on recommendation of the supervisor, that person, on periodic reviews, he makes recommendations to the city manager for pay increase based on merit. Well, now, sir, uh, the city manager does, at his discretion, have the power to grant those raises without taking them before city council if the personnel is already on the existing payroll. Is that not right? That's correct, within the, within the rate range of that job. 